Now this is old Oxted, which was first developed in the 13th century. So it's a lots of mishmash of styles of houses, as you can see. This incredible bookshop. We are still in business, isn't that amazing? We do like a good bookshop. I love this old shop as well. We can actually see me recording. <laughs> Amazing. Um, Hurt Screen is that way, which my friend Al lives, who's in many of my videos. I'll link our previous videos below because Oxted's got a lot of uh, plaques of historic building saying it's a historic building. This might also be the last video I do. I mean, I main, shoot mainly on my Canon M50, but uh, this might be the last video on this GoPro for a while because I'm thinking of upgrading to the GoPro Hero Black 11, which has just come out. I haven't upgraded for a couple of years. But the thing about GoPro is they're good for walking around villages. Of you know, see, so whether you've got a big camera, it's a little, you don't you feel a bit conspicuous and everyone's staring at you, but. With a little camera, you don't. The 16th century Old Bell Pub. Isn't it lovely. I've always tried to book lunch in here, but it's always packed out, and I never can make a booking. But, uh, yeah, 16th century. Lovely. Probably get a lot of traffic coming through this little street. A25 above us, so that's constant traffic, constant traffic. So there is a main Oxted town. We went to, is it St Mary's Church recently? Um, I'll link that video below as well, so I'm not going back there because we've already done that church. That's the video where I had my backpack un, unhooked for most of the video and it looks ridiculous. This is Sandy Lane and um, yes please slow down please slow down for cats of course and that links up to a walk right back up towards um, Limpsfield. We're doing two villages today we're walking around Oxted and we're also going to go back to Limpsfield as well as well um, and have a look at the church again. Now these are places I say I have been to before but I didn't do a video in Limpsfield. I have done a video from the church, as I just said, but not from the actual town. We did that on Richard's video. Um, yeah. George Inn, a tree cottage. There's a lovely Crown Inn, three pubs within like a couple of hundred yards distance. <laughs> and here is an old telephone box, which I went to before. It's actually got a telephone. <laughs> yeah, this kiosk was designed by Sir Giles Gilbert Scott in 1935 and introduced in 1936 to commemorate Silver Jubilee of King George V. Yeah. As I say, more plaques. Building of historic interest. There's another one up there. God, they drive down here a little bit bloody fast. As I say, such a mishmash of styles here. Lots of mish. Um, it's old. The old lockup. 
Hmm, could that be a clue in the title there? The Old Lockup. Three pubs in Oxted. Three pubs. I love this old cottage that sunk into the uh, ground slightly. I don't think anyone was living here when we were here last time, but there, it looks like there's uh, occupation. That. We won't intrude. I think I saw a light on. We don't want to put a stick in a camera in the uh, front windows. <laughs> so there you go, a little trip around Old Oxted. And now we're just going to go down the road to the village of Limpsfield. And here we are in the village of Limpsfield, just at the foot of the North Downs. Lovely high street here, which we're going to walk down now. Once again, loads of traffic coming through. Um, loads and loads of historic buildings. Uh, we're now going to have a look around, see what we can see. Let's go. Of the old cottages here. Rowan Cottage. Whenever I hear the name Rowan, I think of Rowan Morrison from The Wicker Man. <laughs> I don't know why. I love it. Yeah, you get a lot of these. Building of special uh, interest. Where Limpsfield is situated, you've got uh, three national walking trails around. Obviously, you've got the North Downs Way, you've got the Vanguard Way, and the Greensand Way. So, three three trails you can use. Middle Court, this is called. Middle Court. Yeah, the old courthouse. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? I can't see a historic plaque, though. Although, I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. Loveland Cottage over there, I love that. I think it has a Georgian frontage. As when I was talking to Richard here, when I did the video from here before, I'm not a fan of Georgian architecture. I don't know why, I just find it really bland. There's a cat in the road. I'll get out of the road, cat. Where's he gone? Go on, go on. Go on that way. Again, I just find that really bland. I know it's historic, but really bland. Huh. Anyway, here is a public footpath. Limpsfield Way. Oh, there's a Limpsfield Way, is there? Well, we'll have a quick look down, see what's here. I've got lunch booked in at the Bull Inn. Um, later on. I'm sure there's a secret code that goes around in the countryside in southern England. Whenever I'm out filming, a signal sent to everywhere saying, everybody, start mowing now. Hookwood Cottage, very nice. But yeah, as soon as they start filming, mowers come out. Don't know what time of year it is. All right, it's not so much in the winter, but yeah. So there, yeah, very nice trail that goes up there the Limpsfield way it's called but we're here to look at the village so I just want to have a little quick walk around here see what was there yeah very nice let's head back to the village wow check that view out incidentally when we walked past Old Court Cottage I totally forgot to say that actually is grade one listed it's the oldest building in Limpsfield built in 1190 1190 obviously with much improvement over the years but the original foundation is 1190 the Limpsfield bookshop Limpsfield bookshop not open I say when we were here before I say no one's ever open along the high street nothing's open apart from a few coffee shops Ball in where I'm having lunch. 
don't know how much trade they get through here. Um, there's another public footpath up there. Vine Bank Cottage. Around here is another building, Georgian building by the looks of it, with a plaque for building of historic interest. Okay, let's just walk around the corner. I see some of these lovely old cottages. I mean, look at the doors. Look at the doors. <laughs> let's look around here. Amazing old cottages. 1600s, I would think, maybe 1600s. Could be earlier. Amazing. Short doors again. So much traffic, though, so much traffic. We've got the A25 up there, which is constant, but it's been pretty constant here as well. Once again, you try and get a clean picture, but there's cars in the way, as always. <laughs> Right, let's go and have a look at the church again. I'll link the video I did from here before uh, in the description box. I know I'm repeating myself a little bit here, but it was three years ago. But St. Peter's Church, earliest part 12th century, the 16th century porch. And they've got a coffee morning going on, it's rather nice. Oh yeah, and they've got a number of very interesting musicians buried in the churchyard. There's a map here, yeah. Frederick Delius, May Beatrice, Monica and Margaret Harrison, Sir Thomas Beecham, Norman Delmar, Dr Eileen of Joyce and Jack Brimmer. Yeah, so a lot of very interesting um, people there. I won't do too much from in here because it's all covered in the video before. They got, yeah, they've got a coffee morning here today. Very low light, I'm so sorry. If my other big camera was here, which I've actually got in my bag, it'll be sharp a little bit better, but I'm doing this all on the GoPro. This old tomb, I love this. I showed, you, showed this before. Uh, 1644, this is 1644. So I'm recording this only two days after the um, Queen's funeral. It's a very solemn... This poor chap lying here, an easel bent up against him. It's just flyers. <laughs> Is that someone's resting spot? Oh, we'll just, we'll just lean this easel against him, he won't mind. very nice lady who's involved in the coffee morning at the church must be one of the uh, church wardens or volunteers just show me where Delis's grave is the famous musician oh, that was rather fascinating changing the battery on the camera and this chap came up and started talking to me who was associated with the church he's a groundsman here uh, works on the bells uh, probably one of the volunteers really nice guy and he told me a little tale that he was mowing the lawn a few years back and found this bit of stone coming out of the ground and he further investigation realized actually it was a, a grave and it's a grave to somebody quite significant. I'm going to read it out so I remember his name. It was uh, Lieutenant Colonel Edward Chapman, who lived from 1840 to 1926. And he was a soldier, uh, a colonel in uh, the late Victorian era, many campaigns, 
um, across uh, the Far East. Um, it was, he's saying it's like really boy's own stuff and he discovered his grave again, which is absolutely amazing. One of the bells actually here was founded in 1430 in the grounds. They used to have traveling people go around various hamlets uh, to uh, forge bells. He says the ones here are mostly medieval, um, but this one was yeah from 1430 was uh, was was founded actually in the churchyard in a pit, made in the pit. Absolutely fascinating. So I didn't get it on video because I didn't want to suddenly shove a video uh, camera in someone's face. So it's very it's a bit rude, isn't it? But um, really interesting. So if you ever see this video, thank you so much for um, passing on that information. It's really interesting. He said his grave is just by the porch. I'm not quite sure where it is because he said there's not much left, obviously. Um, but yeah, that was really, really fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. Wouldn't mind coming back here and doing some of the walks around here, actually. Be nice. Up a tower. Lovely day. It's very muggy today. Oh, there might be a bit overcast, but it's very muggy. Obviously, this church also has Commonwealth graves, uh, war graves. I just realised I didn't look for the grave for uh, Frederick D Delius, Delius, um, and his wife, the famous composer. But it's fine. I saw the others. We know where it, roughly where it is. Um, yeah, let's have a little walk down a little bit further and then lunch at the ball. Yes, yeah, so that way back to Westerham, which was the subject of my last video. Walk past these lovely old cottages, or are they not as old as I think they are? Hmm, not sure. And some lovely cottages there as well. Mm, lovely street get gradient going up to Titsy Hill and the Botley Mo, a Barley Mo uh, pub. Yeah. Okay, that's it for the walk around Limpsfield. Let's pop to the Bull Inn and have lunch. So there you go. Hope you've enjoyed the video from Old Oxted and Limpsfield lovely pub lunch in the Ball Inn in Limpsfield. Please like, subs subscribe, all that normal stuff and we'll see you next time. Take care.